Hello guys and uh, today we'll be checking how the marketplace vendors can generate the coupons for their products and we'll be seeing the complete workflow there at the customers end how they can apply the coupons and how the vendors can manage the coupons at the end so basically using the plugin that we have at hand that's the uh, WooCommerce multi-vendor marketplace vendor coupons uh, using this plugin the vendors can now provide discounts to their customers using the coupon codes so here the vendors can set the number of times coupon code can be used and will be applied to a particular product apart from that the vendors can also set the cart total uh, with the minimum and the maximum amount for application of the coupon code so let me take through the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront so as you can see right now that I'm at uh, the marketplace uh, storefront and I'm at the cart page right now on the way when edit cart page and I've already applied one uh, coupon that's the one time coupon code now the coupon codes can be percentage based or they can also be fixed depends uh, whether it's applicable on a product or on a category as well also whether it applies to a uh, product that has a sale on it or not so all of these options are there within this particular plugin allowing you to successfully create a, a much better uh, coupon codes for your products there now let me go ahead and let me proceed to the checkout uh, with the coupon code so what you need to do is if you have a coupon code from a vendor you need to apply that uh, within the vvn edit cart here apply that particular coupon that gets uh, added here under the cart totals then you can make a proceed to check out uh, uh, button there uh, to get the discount on the product and uh, then you can place the order very easily and uh, before proceeding further please do subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you like this particular video then do kindly give it a thumbs up so here you can see that under the orders we have the coupon that is applied one time this is the amount we got on the uh, or off there so let me enter the telephone number and let's place the order there after now for placing the order as well the customers can find the details of the coupon code uh, or the discount that was given on the order history there the order has been placed so if I scroll down here's the total amount that we have just paid and here's the discount that was applicable on this particular order now it also depends how uh, you can apply the coupon codes uh, and it can be applicable on the number of products as well uh, on the product count as well uh, within the cart or on the cart as well so uh, now let's hop on to the uh, vendors end and let's see what different options are there uh, so that they can create the coupon codes I'll be creating a few coupon codes we'll apply them up and we'll be changing some uh, options that we set for the coupon codes from the uh, windows end and how they reflect on the customers end so uh, for that right now let's go to my account and i'll be logging out of my customer account and then i'll be logging into my vendor account thereafter okay i'm already logged out let's log into the vendor account so after the successful installation of this particular plugin the vendors will find uh, an option under the account panel on the left hand side uh, that's the manage coupons as you can see so if I tap on that that brings up the section wherein they can find the complete list of coupons that they have already created they can add new coupons by tapping here on the add coupon button they can also search out the coupons using the coupon name by entering the coupon name and tapping on the search button for example if I enter one and hit the search button uh, we have the respective one okay so let's go back and uh, if you have already created the coupon codes you can also edit them or delete them under the actions column for each of the respective coupons that you have created so to create a new coupon uh, you can tap here on the add coupon button and that brings up the add new coupon section now here what we need to do is uh, I'll be creating one coupon and then let's apply it at the storefront for the customers end so uh, I'll set the coupon code as new 30 discount 30 will be the description for that now under the coupon data here we have three different tabs one is the general tab where we can choose the discount type that we want to give whether it's a percentage discount is it a fixed 
discount discount or is is it a fixed product discount so let's choose first fixed product discount uh, I'll set the coupon amount as uh, 30 so we'll be getting a 30 off on the product discount there and we'll be setting up the expiry date uh, for this coupon uh, then coming to the usage restriction uh, we can set the minimum spend uh, that should be there for this to apply and the maximum one as well uh, you can choose to uh, individual use only for this particular coupon so if you check this option here uh, then this coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons uh, the same goes for the exclude save sale items so if you che uh, check this particular option here uh, then the coupon should not be applicable to the items on sale so if there is any product that's on sale then this particular coupon would not be applicable on that and if I uncheck this then this particular coupon will be applicable on the sale items as well now for the per item coupons uh, will work if the item is not on sale and same goes for the per cart coupons and they will only be applicable if uh, the product that we are applying the per cart coupons that particular item is not on sale within the cart okay so for now i'll just uncheck these two and uh, then uh, you can choose the products on which this particular coupon would be applicable so for example if i go to the flying ninja actually this flying ninja is on sale so we'll see both of the difference there for this one for example if i check this one uh, remember that we have excluded the sale item so this uh, coupon should not be applicable on the flying ninja so the coupon name is uh, a new uh, 30 let's go to the usage restriction uh, you can also choose to exclude the products uh, on which this uh, coupon code should not be applicable you can choose the product categories uh, on which it should be applicable you can exclude the categories where you don't want to apply this particular coupon code on to so uh, apart from that you can also restrict the emails uh, that would that should not be able to make use of this particular coupon code so you can enter those up uh, separated by a comma and uh, lastly we have the usage limits so usage limit per coupon so for example one so it can be used for one time only limit usage to x items uh, so for example if i choose it as two then if I am having a product A, then uh, if I am getting 30 on 1, then I will get 60 on 2. Otherwise, I will get 30 on 1 if I enter 1 for this. Then you can set up the usage limit per user. How many times the user can make use of this particular coupon code. And finally, we can publish this particular uh, coupon code. So the coupon code has been created successfully. And uh, I'll just tap here on the manage coupons and now we'll find this particular one being listed here so here's the new 30 that it's a fixed product discount the amount is 30 the limit is one and the expiry is here so let's go ahead and let's uh, apply it on the product there that's the flying ninja let me search the flying ninja product let me add it into the cart let's tap here on the wave cart option and let me paste the coupon code and apply the coupon code so you can see that this coupon is not applicable to the selected products all right so now uh, if I do one thing if I again go to my account section uh, go to the manage coupons edit this one the new 31 that we had created go to usage restriction and uncheck this exclude sale items and then publish it again and now we'll be able to apply this coupon code on the flying ninja so you can include and exclude the category on which the coupon code should be applicable or not so i'll just hit the enter all right that's already in the cart so let's tap here on the wave cart option now we can apply the new coupon 30 and uh, here you can see that right now uh, we are getting a discount of uh, minus 12 dollars and uh, this product is totally free for us to use actually what i uh, i did is uh, i had set it as uh, just let me check that once again so for that uh, let's uh, go back uh, to that particular section uh, manage coupons 
and let me see for how much we had said the amount was 30 let me change the amount because the product is so if, uh, 12 dollars there only so the let me set it as 10 now it's good to go okay and now let's go to the cart let me okay now you can see that we are getting a uh, discount of 10 according to the new 30 coupon that we had applied and now the customer can proceed further uh, to get the discount there so he can go ahead and he can be the new 30 coupon being used here. to remove you can tap here on the remove button to remove the coupon there and let's proceed further and let's uh, place the order okay the order has been received and here's the amount that we had to pay because ten dollars we got uh, a discount for the new 30 that we had applied on the product itself so that's how easily uh, the marketplace vendors can create the uh, coupons and how uh, the customers can make use of the coupons at the checkout time so I again go back to the manage coupons here and uh, right now you can see for new 30 uh, the usage limit has been reached uh, because we set it as one Initially it was zero and now it's one of one. The usage limit has expired. Now if I try to apply that on the same product, uh, that's the Flying Ninja, for example, it would not be applicable. So let me add it to the cart. And uh, let's tap here on the web cart. And let me enter the coupon code. Let's apply. And you can see that it says the coupon usage limit has been reached because we had set it as one for the particular uh, customer there now coming back uh, to the uh, section here that's the uh, manage coupons so uh, that's how you can create the coupons you can edit them if you want you can delete anyone by tapping on the delete button and that uh, would be removed so if I remove the 10% off would be removed as you can see right now you can set up the expiry date for each of the coupons there and uh, much more so I've created one cart 10 code and uh, as it it has fixed uh, cart discount amount is 10 the usage limit is two times the expiry date is there and uh, let me apply it uh, to the cart so for that let's go to the cart and uh, let me set the quantity let it be as two and let me apply this uh, one cart 10 and let's apply it so in that in the previous case so when we were having that uh, the quantity applicable on quantity x there then uh, it was doubling the uh, the coupon amount was doubling so right now it's not doubling it's the same as we have set as uh, for the cart and now the customer can make a checkout thereafter getting the discount thereafter so uh, let me show you that how we have uh, done that and uh, for that let me go to my account section once again uh, let me go to manage coupons and uh, this is the fixed cart discount all right the previous one was the fixed product discount and uh, this was the other one the fixed 31 uh, and if I edit it up I'll just show you that here the usage limit limit usage to X items I had set it as two so for a particular one we could make use of this coupon code two times so if there are two products then it would be uh, the coupon code of 10 would be like 10 plus 10 equals 20 otherwise it would be 10 and in the other case of the coupon uh, 10 that I've created for the fixed card discount if you see if I come down here you can see that I've set the limit usage to X item as 2 but still it's not applicable like that but only the actual one that I've set the coupon amount for is applicable in the card there uh, and the customer gets the discount according to that itself so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding a bit of how the uh, WooCommerce Marketplace sell coupon plugin by Webpool works. And if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com. Raise a ticket at webcool.qds.com. You can contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contacts. Lastly, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.